So as you see here, we have an absolute value, which means we're going to have two solutions. Two solutions uh, we can find once we kind of, oops, that's a three. So once we clear some stuff up here. Now, that gives me an absolute value of 2x minus 3 equals 5. I'm going to write that separately. 2x minus 3 equals 5, but 2x minus 3 could also equal negative 5. Oh, yeah. So now, two separate problems. Solve them twice. You should be good to go. Add 3. 2x equals 8. Divide by 2. You get x equals 4. When you add 3, and a lot of times people will say, oh, equals 4, and then negative 4, because in their brains there's a plus and a minus that happens somewhere along the way. It doesn't quite work out that way most of the time. Uh, that's a negative 2, so when we divide by the 2 now, you end up with a negative 1.